Hey guys, it's up, it's Aubrey here with another video. Alright, so, um, Call Me a Dork, I'm watching the Polar Express. I recorded it way before Christmas started, and I'm just getting around to watching it now. But that's besides the point, so, like, if you hear it, it's way, it's, like, way back there. Um, anyways, this video is about confidence. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so when I was little, I was the shyest person ever. I would not talk to anybody. I would not even say hi. I might go like this or this or whatever. But when I was little... <coughs> Excuse me. I was the shyest person ever, though. Um, and you might be thinking, wait, didn't you have friends when you were little? Of course I had friends when I was little. But they came up to me... And I just, like, followed along. Like, I agreed with whatever they've said. So, um, I was pretty, pretty shy all through my life. And then when I was in the summer, the summer before I went into 10th grade, I started voice lessons. And I was still shy then. Um, you know, I would talk to people a little bit more, but, like, nothing, like, major. Um, and I was just, like still nervous and I was afraid to like I was afraid to do anything in front of anybody like when I started singing my mom would be like show me what you learned and I wouldn't want to show her what I learned because I was that shy around people and um a while ago probably like four or three years before I actually started singing lessons she told me my voice wasn't that good so I would be afraid to kind of like um show her what I learned or how or how much better I was getting and then probably about my fourth, fifth concert, I finally got my big confidence builder up to kind of, I don't know, um, you know how some people talk to the audience, if you ever gone to a concert or something, how people, how some people are performers even, talk to the audience before they start their song. My fourth or fifth concert, I kind of did that, and, um, I kind of did that, and I say that's the first time I actually showed my new found confidence, um, and then when I started making videos, um, it kind of built my confidence because even though I am talking to just a recording camera or a recording iPad, um, camera thing, it is going on the internet for people to see, and, um, I guess that's got my confidence up too. Um, I still cannot make him videos in front of my parents or my brothers or anybody because it's just nerve wracking. I mean I can make them in front of them but it's definitely nerve wracking. Um, so yeah, so these are my tips for confidence. Um, you know if you're super shy it does take time. Try to find something that will build your confidence. Like for me it was um, doing voice lessons but if that's not your thing join a sport or a public speaking class okay no actually public speaking is could be good but um try something small i would say you know the this the voice classes were private so that was you might be thinking how's that small but it is small because it's just you because it was just me and me one-on-one -on -one, the instructor and me so yeah um also if you're worrying about being confident um because you're like oh i'm way too shy to be confident you are never too shy to be confident. You just gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe, you know, I can't be this shy forever. I used to think I would never, never be confident. I was the shyest person you could ever meet. I still am shy. Like, I'm still shy. Like, I will get nervous if I have to call anybody. I'd much rather text people. The only person I don't get nervous calling are my dad, my brother, my mom, or somebody but if I have to like call like my if I have to call my aunt or my cousins or my grandparents or even um something as simple as call a pizza order I will be completely nervous. Um I'm getting better at it actually order pizza myself for like the first time. Actually it was my second technically my second time but this was at like a completely different pizza place that we that um I call so it was kind of nerve-wracking, and I actually did it, and I made a complete flat myself because the first line I said was, I like to order food, 
duh, it's a pizza place. What, what else would I order? Furniture? No. Um, but yeah, just, um, you know, keep trying new things. And, um, you know, if you're old enough to do it, um, you know, ask your mom or whoever usually coordinates your appointments, you know, can I do this one by myself? And um, have them monitor you because you don't want your first time to be like, you mess up completely. Um, that's what I was afraid of the first time I ever did my phone calls by myself. I didn't want to mess up, so I had my mom monitor my first call ever to whenever it was. I think maybe it was like a doctor's appointment or something. Um, other than that, um, you know, just like um, ask people around what they do. like. Ask somebody how they got their confidence up, like someone who you think is really confident. A few years ago, I asked my good friend, you know, she seems so confident and sure of herself, and I asked her how she got so confident. She, I even learned she wasn't really that confident, but, you know, she said, you gotta do things that push you out of your comfort zone and stuff like that. And then, um, really, do some speeches, wherever you get, can get a chance to do something that's speech related, do it. Um, a few years ago, my parents, my brother and I, we went to this muscular dystrophy fundraiser thing, I think, and, you know, they only invite one family each year, and the couple years ago, it was, we were the family invited. We were VIPs. No, I'm not really sure. We were, we were pretty close to the front, though, but anyways, you know, they said to my mom, oh, you might have to speak, and she's like, oh, I don't really want to do it, and she was kind of complaining, so I was like, okay, you know what, and I was still pretty shy at this moment, but I already did singing, though, but I was still pretty shy, I was like, oh my god, mom, you're such a baby, I'll do it, so I ended up, um, saying something first, it was totally awesome, I got a standing ovation, it was, like, amazing, I didn't expect it to go that well, I just, Send my name, my age, how long I've been going to the doctor that takes care of the muscular dystrophy um, that I have, and just like a little like pep talk kind of thing. And I got a standing ovation, and everybody was like, "Oh, you're so good!" And I was so nervous because like I was so shy. Oh my god, guys! I had to go to the restroom so bad after, and everybody kept stopping me. And I was like, I was so shy. Like, and then like this lady after. The benefits she gave me um those like those tattoos that can like be like used as like a bracelet or something which was pretty cool and then um a girl that I actually knew who used to do my hair she was there and she was so proud of me she was like oh my god i've known her since she was the shy little girl so that was pretty cool um and yeah like you guys if you're shy try to build up your confidence because it will really help in future events like job interviews or if you ever have to do public speaking within your job, public speaking, or simply even meeting new people, you know? Um, so that's all the tips I can give you. I hope this helps and this is my journey through how I got my confidence. Again, I'm not the most confident person. I'm still shy to this day, but you know, it's all a work in progress. Alright, so I hope these tips help you out. Please let me know below in the comments if they do, and I'd love to hear your your story through your confidence trip, alright? Peace out guys, bye.